Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai business visas. Specifically, we're discussing visa extension in the context of this coronavirus pandemic. And for those who are sort of avid watchers of this channel, you will know that Thai non-immigrant visa, especially non-immigrant multiple entry visas, have become very problematic as a result of coronavirus because most of the borders are sealed now, effectively sealed, for purposes of border runs and visa runs. And it's even very difficult now to get in and out of the country by air. So air border runs, for lack of a better term, are getting more difficult. In a recent article from the Phuket News, that's the PhuketNews.com, the article is titled, Phuket Immigration Confirms 500 Baht a Day Overstay Fines Are Being Levied. We're quoting directly from this article, but the person we are quoting and the person of interest here is Phuket Immigration Deputy Chief Lieutenant Colonel Udom Tongchen. Quoting directly from the article itself, Lieutenant Colonel Udom also clarified that the issue of people having to leave the country because their permit to stay will expire does not apply to foreigners renewing their one-year extensions to stay. These are being processed as usual, he said. If people are just renewing their one-year permit to stay as like they do every year, they do not have to leave the country while waiting for their renewal to be approved. Just as usual, these people are unaffected, he said. So, clearly the extension process continues apace. And another thing to keep in mind that I thought was of note, if we were to go into a hard lockdown here in Thailand, and as of the time of this video, we're in the soft shutdown, at least here in Bangkok, that's been recently imposed, if a hard lockdown comes and it results in a countrywide or even here in Thailand, just a citywide lockdown that results in Thai immigration being closed, this could have substantial ramifications. And one of the ramifications is people's visa extensions could expire during the closure. How is this dealt with? Well, in my opinion, it's going to be dealt with in much the same way holidays and weekends are dealt with when a visa extension status expires. So if one status expires over a weekend or over a prolonged holiday here in Thailand, the rule of thumb is the next available business day is the day upon which an application can and should be made for the extension. So those whose status expires over a presumed lockdown should keep an eye on if slash when the immigration office is going to reopen and they need to be very aware of the exact date when it reopens because on that date, you're gonna to wanna to get in there and get your extension application on file because failure to do so could result in substantial ramifications. Most notably, it could be considered an overstay even a day later. And that can result in the one's entire immigration status falling apart as a result of that presumed overstay. And then that could result in visa or border runs and as a result of that, which that, this is getting very much into the speculative, into speculation, I should say, but it may not be possible to do a visa run or a border run may be, may be infeasible. So if a lockdown occurs and one's business visa status expires during that lockdown, be assiduous in understanding when the expiration happens and when the immigration office reopens so as to be able to get into regular status as soon as possible.